Hello friends, welcome back. It's Big Dino Plays Kingdom Death. And we're finally going to throw ourselves into the real grinder and face off against the Lion God. Yes, yes indeed, Lion God, level one. Um, I haven't fought a Lion God in ages. I completely forget everything about how they, how they go, what they do, but we're gonna figure it out. And it's gonna be tremendous. So, I'm excited. We'll go and show you the hunt now. We, are, we, have, a, we have an unfortunate heat wave that's hit the settlement this year, which really is uh, problematic for us, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll work our way around it. Um, let's talk about our survivors. Uh, we're going to go out on a hunt very shortly, uh, but let's just review the survivors we're taking. Um, it's exciting. So the four survivors that we're taking are Felix, uh, Sam, Edmond Dantes, and Aria. So Felix, we have given him a systemic pressure to be able to allow him to hunt. And that is great of him, really, because with the systemic pressure, when he departs, he gains deflect tokens equal to his systemic pressure. Uh, which is the wonderful sum total of four deflect tokens. The Queen of Hands is absolutely outrageously deflecting. Um, on arrival, gains deflect tokens, so that's fine. It's also got cross arm block for some absolutely outrageous reason, which is just wonderful. And 20 insanity. Sam, the man Sam, um, he is wearing heavy gear. So both those guys are wearing heavy gear. He's our gastromancer with the hidden jewel uh, and all of these scarab sets, etc. He's also got the jaw saw. We're feeling good about him. Edmund Dantes, he's got a proctophilia, um, unfortunately, which means he has to depart with stinky gear in his gear grid. So we've given him a monster grease. Um, and then he will depart and gain a new knowledge. And finally, Aria. Um, yeah, oh, sorry, I did actually change what I did uh, last uh, end of that. I, was, I didn't bother searching for fluid. Um, instead, what we did is uh, we gave him a Lumi for one, and uh, and we gave we were going to give him honourable, but we changed our mind. So uh, the reason we do that with uh, one Lumi is he gets to depart with one Lumi, and he gets to level up Wanderlust. Uh, and finally, Arya, our Warrior of the Sun. Uh, We've, we've tweaked that a little bit to give her the antelope mask to allow her to run around. So it should be fun. Um, no heavy gear on either Aria or Edmond Dantes. Sam and Felix will both be departing with zero survival. Which against the Lion God is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. I know. On arrival though, we do gain a survival. And I feel like that may be enough. <laughs> Just one round should be enough. Uh, let's depart for the showdown, and uh, we will then prepare a few things. So, depart, um, Felix and Sam both go to zero survival when they depart, after applying all bonuses, and those two are fine. Great. First hunt event is a random event. 61. <clears throat> yeah, Lion God, eh? This should be interesting. Let's see if he poses us a challenge. Frozen Lightning. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. If we have to archive some fragile gear here. Actually, do we have any fragile gear? The mask is not fragile. The rubber bone harness is not fragile. I think there's uh, one item in the... Um, calcified set that is fragile, but I'm not. I'm not wearing it, so we're okay. Uh, straggler, one, seven, one, five, three. So one. Sam the Scat Man. He is the straggler. Um, and so he suffers one d five event damage. So two event damage to. The hands and the body. He's a scat man. I hope he survives. <laughs> All right. The Lone Traveller. 
do we want to lie or tell the truth? We'll tell the truth. We gain an iron and we suffer one minus one population. So, um, that's fine. Uh, what a fun one. And who do we want to die? Uh, we've got a few nuffies down here. Jake. Jake the snake. That gets us a random basic resource from Cannibalize. We're actually okay with some uh, with some deaths because we've got Morgue now, which I forgot last Lantern Year as well. Uh, we can get more resources for the more dead people we have. Uh, all survivors lose one survival. That's not going to bother us too much. There's departing survivors. I did bring a sickle, by the way, so we are um, sickling right here. Sickling. Eighty nine. Feeling fine. Wish it was seventy nine so we get another prospector key. <laughs> How good would that be? Eighty nine is cleaner birds. Oh no. If any survivor has a whip, we don't have a whip. Okay, so cleaner birds. We need to work out our straggler. So the straggler Felix, Sam, uh, Edwin Dantes at the moment. And Edmund Dantes, does he have, no, oh, actually, so we need to depart and have the Epiphany Imagination, and we also need to get a random one, Juggernaut, oops, Juggernaut. Uh, what happens with this Epiphany one? What is it called? Epiphany Imagination. So I forget how epiphanies work, but I think they actually go down here. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You, you may say I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. Imagination. Life is your creation. I apologize for my singing. I break out into random song. I'm well aware of it. I can't help it. It's bad. Edmund Dantes. He gains a permanent luck and loses a permanent speed. That is a reasonable trade. Uh, I'm going to go read that because I can't remember if it replaces it or not. So, Epiphany Imagination, stand by. <clears throat> yeah, so it stays there. So, unfortunate. But, we can spend three Lumi to level up weapon proficiency. We actually really want to speed. We, we're, Wrath loses a lot of potency when it's only speed one. Uh, cancer pigeons or whatever the fuck those birds were. A sphinx. Uh, confront. A strength token would be awesome because we would be able to use that for the thing, but uh, if we ignore, we get survival, so we'll ignore him, that's a 9, everyone gets 10 survival, you stupid sphinx, we have our um, thing, herb gathering, so Sam gets to consume, which means he gains a strength or an accuracy token, we'll give him a strength token, um, and that's it. Uh, no, 
We still don't have cooking, so we still can't get random vermin resources. <laughs> 76, oh my god, we were so close to another key. I actually don't think, I don't know why I'm getting so excited about the key. It doesn't do anything. Dream the way. Um, so first person, second person, a 10, third person, three, go 10. Oh, it's nothing. Overwhelming darkness. First person, uh, minus one accuracy token, we'll discard it. Second person, spend all your survival or lose a courage. Sam will lose a courage. Next person, a nine, suffer one event damage to the arms. Last person, a lantern 10, gain the leader fighting art. Um, so we're actually going to try and take uh, fighting arts now. Uh, because we gain a systemic pressure and we can purchase thingy bound. We gain a one. That's a bad one, isn't it? For voltless. <laughs> That's a bad one. I gotta look up voltless one. I think we We have our hidden crimson jewel. Yeah, we'll use our hidden crimson jewel for that reroll. Into a six, yep. So we don't get leader, but we gained a systemic pressure. And that is the end of that. Systemic pressure is good for us now. Into the showdown. There is no, um, no other bits of terrain that come on there. So we just hit it and quit it. Um, so we arrive at the showdown, so we gain our deflect tokens now. Uh, and that is all, I believe. So, yeah, everyone's already at max survival. All right, we'll just kick straight into it then. So Hollow Earth, whenever it becomes archived, passage to the necropolis. Whiplash zone, etc., etc. All right. Uh, I think we could, yeah. So let's just get into it, right? A wailing claw. The closest survivor in field of view in range. Uh, so we're going to use Aria as our target. It's in field of view. We're going to go to here. And then we're going to swing with this card. So it's four speed. It's hitting on a six plus, which goes to nine plus. Deno rolls three hits. Outstanding. We'll dodge three times. Actually, one gets ignored, so we'll dodge two times because of our thing of the sun. Reflection. And then we will spend a survival to dash. So dodge, dash. Uh, over to here. One, two. Uh, this guy will also dash one, two, three, four, five to there. Felix dash. All right, Felix is going to leap into the blind spot using his line claw Qatar. So he's attacking the monster in the blind spot. So he doesn't gain a bleeding token. He's not surging, so that's all fine. Uh, that doesn't trigger the Relentless because no one's in its field of view. We do need to dash with, uh, with Sam because it's field of view. I forget field of view. Is that is that in front or is that... 
How am I missing, how am I failing at this very basic fucking question, Deno? Is it fake? No, that's facing. Yeah, field of view is anything it can see. So he'll move into the blind spot as well. So there he is. Great. So Sam's dashed as well. So the leap from Felix. He has that as well. Uh, is speed five, which means we're rolling eight dice. He's going to spend a survival to gain a strength token, then he's going to spend a survival <laughs> to get devastating. <laughs> and he hits on a two plus. Seven hits, so six hits. Does he hit on a two plus? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, what are all of these fucking first strike things? End your attack unless you gain a bleeding token. We're happy with that. If you have less than five courage, Felix, you got seven courage, so you're fine. There's no more first strikes, there's some super dances. Okay, so we cancel the first reaction on a first strike. So we will cancel this reflex. So our attack is <laughs> strength 12, and this guy is toughness 14. So we, crit we wound, we don't critical. So we've canceled that reflex, and it's doing one, two wounds. We gain a bleeding token. So we fail to wound. That's annoying. Uh. So now, that's impervious and super dense, so we'll try and clang that down. We do clang that down, no we don't, it's only deadly and we don't have a luck, damn. We lose two survival though. One, one two. All right, so we can only cancel one of these reactions. Full move the Lion God forward in a straight line. We'll gain a bleeding token and suffer the frenzy trauma, I think. That one's fine. So yeah, we'll cancel this one. So that's a wound. Does one, two. So that one's cancelled. This one. Does a wound. Gain a bleeding token and frenzy. What we need is more speed at this point. Uh, and this one, unfortunately, unless we critical, we are in trouble. We don't critical, we do wound, one, two. Everyone is knocked down, and it turns to face its blind spot. Uh, we, can't, we can't avoid that. There's nothing we can do about it, but it is what it is. Uh, back to here, so... She's going to go one, two, three, four, five using the antelope mask. And then she will swing with the calcified digging claw. She is wearing, she can hit song. She will move to there and then she will hit song into the blind spot. Which means she encourages everyone. Delightful. Uh, and her calcified digging claw is speed two uh, and it's hitting on a two plus. And we have Qatar specialization. Two hits across the settlement. So we cancel the first chosen reaction. We will do this one cancelled. Uh, this is wounding on a two plus, I think. 
5 plus with sharp. So that fails, we don't get that reaction. We add 1d10 to all wound attempts. <laughs> that one is a critical. The Lion God suffers an additional wound and knockback three. <laughs> uh, well, that anno that's annoying, isn't it? One, two. We spent all that time to hit song. One, two, three. And now everyone's knocked back. Including her. Stupid. All right, so that is archived. So on a six plus, the sinkhole will appear. The sinkhole does not appear. Everyone's knocked down. We'll do the monster's AI card. Oh, and he flips trumpeting whale. There's no threats, so he's going to go and mourn. The Lion God mourning is... Move the Lion God to the closest. If it ends its movement adjacent to the tile, it already is. Archive it and all non-deaf survivors suffer two rain damage, monster level plus one. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Good. That's the end of its turn, because there's no Relentless. There's no Mourn. Fine. <laughs> hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya. All right. Does anyone need a specialization? Sam's probably worth a specialization here. He'll dash into the blind spot. And then he'll spend his movement to gain bonus luck. And he'll swing with the jaw saw. He hits on a two plus. So he hits three times. One, two, three. Uh, so we'll do them in that order. So he has one luck. Two luck, three luck from the jaw saw. So he is critting on uh, tens, nines, eights, sevens. So seven to crit, and it's a two plus to wound. Yep. So that's a wound. Does one. Oh, he'll do the strength devastating. This one. It's a fail to wound, which is fine. Uh, actually, we'll use the Hidden Crimson Jewel. Into a wound, one, two. And if he hits a critical on this one, we actually win the fight. How do you like them apples? <laughs> one, two, three. Woo -wee. Grand Weapon Mastery would have locked, knocked the lion dude down. Uh, Edmond did not get a proficiency point. We probably should have gotten him a proficiency point, but we did not. So we'll spend three Lumi and get him a proficiency point. And Aria did get a guitar proficiency point. That was it. <laughs> So we're going to gain, when the Lion God is defeated, if we do not have the Knowledge Worm innovation, we will do a story, which is Knowledge Worm. Well, let's manage Departing Survive. No, let's uh, complete the showdown. We will gain 2 Hunt XP. We will return and advance the year. We are going to gain the Necromancer's Eye, Rare Gear which is great. It's the cat's eye circlet on steroids. And it's 
awesome. And then we gain eight basics and an iron. It wasn't that it wasn't that scary, unfortunately. But we got through that fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got through that fight, and that means all of our cool stuff is about to happen. <laughs> our cool stuff. All right, let's do this uh, thing, because someone could die here. The knowledge worm. Climb the staircase. Oh no, the lion god. We climb the staircase. Oh, you can actually chew the skull eater. Oh my god. I would have fought the Lion God in Lantern Year 13 if I knew you could chew to that guy. And I also would have accepted darkness, but we can't we can't go back and change that. Uh, seven, thank goodness. We gain the knowledge worm innovation. And <laughs> oh, that would have been sick. <laughs> Where is it, Havy City, F-G-L-H-I-J-K, Knowledge Worm. Why is it not here? There it is, because it's called The Knowledge Worm. All right. My God, you can chew to Marrowism with the Lion God. That is my favourite. That is my favourite thing that has happened. My God. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to shuffle today. I'm just going to shuffle. And we're going to cut here and we're going to take this one. And it is murder. We've already had that one, so we're going to take this one. Mysterious eggs. There we go. We've got story events. We've got everything happening here. Mysterious eggs. We do have a bed. I really wish we got vermin resources, but we have a bed. So we are dealing with an infestation. We have to double the cost of all endeavors. I actually love this one. Like I actually love the fact that this is a punishment for an innovation because usually it's not. A, it's not a. It's like a a bonus if you have an innovation, but it means early game, that one's a benefit, and late game, it's a, it's a disaster, which is awesome. Uh, we'll just grab out our knowledges, and then we've got some story events. Queen of Hands again, evasion training, hardy ego, always a good one. Plausibility. I could fight a phoenix, I suppose. Um, Alright, so story events. We have the bell rings. Bong. We know the Black Knight is back. We're going we're gonna to teach that guy a lesson. Nominate two survivors. Highest courage and highest understanding uh, so highest courage we have courage seven on Felix courage seven on Edmund Dantes Jenny and Belly both have six so it will be uh, Felix Felix rolls a lantern 10, gain a random black knight armor pattern, fine. And then highest understanding is someone we don't care about, I think. Belly. A one. Suffer hamstrung. Belly is hamstrung. Fine. And then we have to journey up the mountain ascent. But we have black harvest, we unbury the gear. We archive a cell. Um, 
So all of our gear comes out, our calcified gear. It's going to be amazing, friends. It's going to be amazing. Um, let's put our basic resources in. One skull, one monster organ, one love juice, one monster hide, one monster organ, one question marks, one broken lantern, and one monster hide. Show me a line. Um, knowledge worm. At the start of the settlement phase, add a scrap to the settlement storage. Done. Parting survivors gain three survival and three insanity. So we can avoid a gracious host by just taking survivors that are nuffies. We probably will do that in this hunt because there's a possibility people could die. Not a strong possibility, but, but definitely a possibility. So, um, Great. I have plenty of endeavors to spend, don't I? Six but it's a double endeavor cost. That's fine. Um, I don't think we're gonna do too much this, this year. Maybe we'll learn. Um, nightmare training, sure. Edmund's gonna nightmare train. Gonna cost him two endeavors. Gonna spend three survival. One, two, three. First one, he rolls a seven. He spend a survival to try again. He rolls a lantern ten, he gains a strength or an accuracy. He'll gain a strength. He'll spend three survival to go again. So there's going to be four endeavors spent. He rolls a lantern ten, he'll gain a strength. <laughs> we'll innovate and hopefully we get cooking. We should. One. So there it is, we take cooking at last. Uh, basic resource, hide, organ, skull. Um, I, think, I think we're just gonna get ready for this, uh, this next showdown, friends. So get excited. Um, it's the Black Knight level two. That'll allow us to make a count armor set if we are successful and roll high enough on our thing. So we'll select our survivors. We're gonna gain some benefits from the knowledge worm and uh, we're not gonna go for a necromancer. <laughs> or will we? Um, but yeah, hope you're enjoying the campaign. I'm loving it. We're about to hit the, we're about to hit the end game. So it's gonna be, gonna be awesome. I'll catch you on the next episode. Big Dino out. In my excitement, I forgot to ponder. We're going to ponder with Sam, the gourmandist. <laughs> He's leveled up into level four gourmandism. He's eligible to ponder. He gains a loomy. And he will. Roll an eight, which is gain appreciation, and someone else gains appreciation as well. We can also share one of his knowledges at the forum for free, which we shall do, which shall be Gastromancer. That's an okay ability. Do we like it more than we like duty bound though? Hmm, we do not. That's good. And then our verminist. Uh, Aria. Leveling up into Verminism 2. Gains a Lumi. And rolls a 4. She gains Mirror Eyes. 
Fantastic. So with Mirror Eyes, she is also going to spend three or two Lumi rather and pick up our duty bound because fortunately she has three systemic pressure already. Um, which is glorious. Mirror Eyes is one of my all-time favourite things, along with Envenom Edge. There's Mirror Eyes, look at the artwork. Precision 2. All your weapons gain paired. Mirror Eyes. When you hit at least two times in a single attack. I've really started to lean into speed in this... Uh, in this um, campaign, and it's worked out quite well for us. Um, I don't know that I'd always do it. I was, I was in the middle of mucking around with this stuff and I realised, so. <laughs> anyway, catch you in the next episode. Big Dino out.